Hi, to start, we are, for this section, we're going to be going over how to customize documents by having customized font types and sizes. So first, go ahead and open up Word. You can click on Start, and then in the search box, type in Word, and then find that. And then go ahead and click on Blank Document until you get to this page. Okay, with that open then, go ahead and click on the View tab and then click on the box that says macros and then under that select record macro and then in the name that comes up just type customization and then click assign to button and then just click yes if that pops up with that open go ahead and click the add button and that'll put it over to this right side so when you will see when we're done with this, it'll add a button to the top of the ribbon. That way it'll be easy to access the macro. So with that, go ahead and click OK. Now we're recording our macro. You can see by the cassette tape it displaying under the mouse. Let's go ahead and click the Home tab. And then first we're going to change the font. So go ahead and click in the font. Just change that to whatever you want. I'm going to pick Arial then change the font size. Again you can pick whatever you want but I'm going to pick size 20 just so it'll be big enough for us to see. Next go ahead and you can change the font color. Let's pick a blue color. Okay. And then you can just type the word the or cat or dog just to see that it's come up the way you wanted it. And so if you see the font is the size in the color and this type that you want, you can go ahead and click on the view tab again, click on the macros button, and then click stop recording. Now go ahead and delete out what you typed already, and then see the button that we added earlier up at the quick access toolbar? Go ahead and click on that, and there you go. It puts in what you already typed in before and the font and the color and the different font style. You can delete these words out before, but I like to keep them in. That way you can verify that it's it looks exactly the way you want it. And that's all there is to it. Um, I hope you guys will take a second and just think about how this can be applicable to your work or to your studies or school. Um, I use this a lot because I, have, I don't like that Microsoft is set to Calibri in 11 font. So I have mine. I have a macro set up for myself to instantly change it to Times New Roman 12 font. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this screencast and I hope you learned how to record a macro to customize the font the way you want it. Thanks.